know I've got a lovely scent to talk about. As usual, I'll be nice and quiet while my son falls asleep. The scent is Vetiver and Golden Vanilla and it's the new Intense Cologne by Jo Malone. And um, it's actually one of the free gifts you can get. So I was really pleased with that because I was choosing a present for someone that I thought they'd love and to get this as a free gift. That was just amazing. And the Peony and Blush Suede Body and Hand Lotion too. That's a lovely sample and it's a really floral scent with a bit of earthiness I think that comes from the suede if that makes any sense but it's it's really lovely floral one and always reminds me of Jo Malone I think maybe the first time I went in there and had a hand and arm massage they did this amazing um, combination of scents and that one really stood out um, in my head so it's sort of a nice scent memory but um, the vetiver and golden vanilla is what I was hoping to chat about and the notes in this, the top notes are cardamom the heart note is vetiver bourbon, the base notes vanilla bourbon and it says that the top note also has an accord of grapefruit tea I don't smell much grapefruit or my nose doesn't pick that up but I do pick up the sort of lovely spicy cardamom and I also get a sort of a pepperiness burst, but that isn't listed. And one of the strongest notes is vetiver. It's really strong, really earthy, grassy, and it's got this sort of depth. And, so, and it really does keep going. I sprayed this a couple of hours ago and I can still smell it. The vanilla's coming out a bit more, but it's not sugary sweet or anything like that. So the base note's vanilla bourbon and it's very... Um, I don't say dry, but it's not the sort of cloying creaminess of, say, Myrrh and Tonka by Jo Malone, but it's also hasn't got the lightness of um, mimosa and cardamom either. There's a, it's a bit more spicy, a bit richer, so it's quite an interesting scent. And I really think the texture at first is all in my head, I just thought of the word rugged and sort of very, um very it, it's not in a bad way either it's it's very um i can't smell it so much now i should have sprayed on one hand the initial burst again but it's a real sort of blast and um initially quite beast mode the vetiver never fully leaves so if you're a vetiver fan um you'll really enjoy this it's because it's it's earth again as I say it was earthy it's got a sort of earthiness to it and that I was going to say hay like quality as well but it's a really nice take on vanilla for someone who doesn't want to have the usual gourmand experience with it and I'm really impressed with the blend and it's got stages as well which is great and the perfumer I think is Matilda, I think you say Matilda, that's how you pronounce it, and um, Bijoui, something like that. I sort of, I wish I'd checked the surname, sorry, because that was a bit rude. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it, and um, I've started talking normally, but hopefully I haven't woken him up. But um, I wanted to have a quick chat about it. Have you tried it? What do you think? It's the not my usual style of vanilla. I really do like um, sweet vanillas and this one's a different way of doing it for sure and I think it's definitely a gorgeous I don't believe in gender and you know sort of oh you should wear this you should wear that but this is unisex all the way and um, I hope you get to try it and see what you think but um, I'm still enjoying it and I'm interested to see how this is <laughs> sniffing my hand I'm interested to see how the dry down uh, goes because it's only an hour or two since I sprayed it and it's all settling together a bit more but the vetiver is really prominent so if you're a vetiver fan you're going to love this but that's my little review on my little bottle here this is what they look like they're quite um, a good size really I think and they're excellent for travel but as a free gift I was really pleased but um, I will be back soon there's so many things I'd love to review and chat about and uh, and I can 
I've just I think my son's nice and quiet now so he's had his uh, busy day and oh no I just heard him but yeah that's why I often do them quietly but I hope it had a sort of almost relaxing ASMR effect and uh, as I get more into this I, I'm going to explore a bit more about ASMR and, and hopefully do some things that um, are nice nice change for people and also discussing scent as usual but i'll be back soon hope you've had a good wednesday take care bye